Hey everyone, it's Deanna and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm giving you guys an updated curly hair routine. I know my hair is not curly right now. I actually had it blown out over the weekend and then it was just honestly up the past couple days because I wasn't going out or doing much outside of our place. The most requested thing in my DMs or anytime someone slides up on a photo I post or something like that is what products do I use in my hair? And I know right now my hair looks gross. It's super dirty and it was like blown out and I had it in a bun. Since today is wash day, I figured I would film this video for y'all so I can stop like literally copying and pasting in my DMs like the exact products that I'm using. I think throughout the years I've tried a lot of different products because my hair is like not super tight but also not loose so finding a product that works good for my hair and I think it can help a lot of you guys. So now that it's 2022 I haven't done one of these videos in forever so I figured I would give you guys my updated hair routine. I also just want to note that my hair is super thick so what works for me might not work best for everyone. Um, I think I've watched so many like curly hair tutorials growing up because I was so unsure like what to do with my hair exactly um, and then I would try products that just like didn't work for me so definitely um, use this video. It's really really simple. It's only a two-step process. I only use two products um, but try it. Maybe it's something you can add for you with other products. I'm also going to do um, like a day two hair so tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll show you kind of just how I refresh it just to make this video like more interesting because sometimes these get boring so yeah I'm gonna go shower and I'll take you guys through my curly hair routine okay so I literally just hopped out of the shower like my hair is soaking wet <laughs> dripping on the ground but I like to make sure I brush it while it's like this wet and I also use the wet brush. I find that brushing it while it's like really wet doesn't interfere with like the way your curl pattern um, dries if you wait any like longer and then brush it. It's kind of like brushing your hair while it's dry. So I like to get all the nonsense while it's super wet. And I just take a big scrunchie. My hair, I lose so much hair when I shower, but I take a big scrunchie and I just throw it up and once I'm dressed, I'll take it back down. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get dressed and I'll come back to y'all. Now that I'm dressed <laughs> and my hair is basically falling out, I'm just gonna put my earrings in. This is the look, this is how I'm actually going out. Okay, so I suggest if you like wear rings, take it off before you do this just so it doesn't get like in the crevices of anything. So the products that I use, this is literally empty, is Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. It gives your hair like a super soft finish. Um, when I was younger, my hair was always super crunchy and the curls were just like a hard consistency. Consistency? <laughs> it's not a consistency, like a harder texture, but definitely now, like it says, um, multi-textured curls, soft defined curls, wash and go styling, no fuss, frizz free, frizz free. Um, and then there's no parabens, no animal testing, all the, all the good stuff. Look, this is literally empty, but I have a brand new one. No worries. I'm literally stocked up on Miss Jessie's. I've tried um, a couple of her other products too. And I actually like them also. I just think this works the best for my hair, um, but feel free to try like any of her brand. Love it. And then the only other product that I use besides this is just um, argan oil. Um, I find that my hair, especially in the winter, gets really dry. Um, so again, this just makes sure that your curls stay even softer. Um, and also, like as you can tell, because I brush my hair before putting it up, it kind of like the curl pattern is already starting to create itself just from being up on top of my head like that. This is not sponsored or anything. Just I actually use these for the past few years now. Um, but you don't need that much. I go in with about, I'd say like about a quarter size of product. And then I kind of just rake it through my hair. I'm literally squeezing every bit of product out of this bottle. But I'll go in with this side and I make sure I get like my baby hairs 
um because those are the parts that tend to be the most frizziest for me at this point like my hair is still super wet i'm kind of like getting a lot of water in my hands with the products but i think that helps so that your hair like is fully absorbing all of the product so i just continue to scrunch 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 i want to make sure that nothing is sticking to anything I like the pieces to all be like really separate sorry if I'm like looking up my mirror is behind my camera again I've lost more hair I go in with a diffuser and I put on the attachment that looks like this I know some people love the diffuser some people hate the diffuser I think for me it works well but I also don't dry my hair fully with a diffuser. I kind of just make it so that it's like not sopping wet the way it is now. I give it to like a good like damp um, feeling and then I let the rest air dry itself. In a lot of videos that I've watched, I know people use their diffuser on like medium or low. I think for me, maybe just because I'm impatient and my curly routine is usually like when I don't want to put a lot of time into my hair, I'll wear it curly. Um, so I just put it on high, I put the temperature on hot and I just dry it. I don't use the, the low setting. Okay, so now it's basically damp. Um, there are some pieces that are still wetter than others but I think you can tell that there is like a nice pattern starting to form so personally I mean you could definitely blow dry more but I like to just leave it at this level of wetness and then I'll like do my makeup finish getting ready do what else I have to do for the day after I blow dry it I go in with the argan oil and I lightly, like, honestly, like a penny amount. I just put it through the very bottoms. And I'll go in to the parts around my face that tend to get a little frizzy. And then from here, I just let it dry. Naturally, I'll continue um, getting ready, putting on makeup, doing whatever else I have to do. And I'll get back to you in a few so you can see the finished look. So I of course forgot to film this while I was still inside, but my hair is like halfway dry now. Definitely drier than it was before. See the curls are nice and soft and ready for the day. Hi again, so it's nighttime now. I'm back um, after a full day of activities again it's a super soft curl like if i wanted to i could brush my hands through my entire hair um but when i go to sleep tonight i'm just gonna throw it up in a very loose messy bun basically like the bun that i had when i first got out of the shower kind of just like this and then i will wake up tomorrow and show you guys my day two hair good morning but basically for day two just take it out and again i use a scrunchie honestly it's better to do if you have a um a spray bottle but my spray bottle is at home in jersey so i just take some water so i just take the water and i kind of um fix some of the curls that were super dry and like frizzed out and then I go in with a little bit more of the oil. Ooh, that, was, that was a lot. My hair like loves this stuff. It literally just like sucks it all up. And it's also good for like your baby hairs. And yeah. So I know this video was probably really short um, because it is like two simple steps. But since this was the most asked for video usually in my Instagram DMs or people are always curious what products I'm using, 
I figured I'd make this video. So if you like it, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below more video ideas, and I'll see you next time.